Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video we're going to be making bases like the ones in the track Typhoon by Bass Stripper. So this is the original track. And this is my recreation. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. Also, if you want free samples and presets and also master classes, you can join the NBA Academy Free Access. The link is also in the description. So with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so this bass is actually two patches. It's a sub and the high layer. So let's begin with the sub. All right, so the sub is very simple. We just need to turn on the sub, duh, and load a triangle wave on oscillator A, which just sound like this. Then turn on the noise then add some distortion. Now to not get a different sound each time you play the notes, make sure you get the random phase all the way down. And that is basically a sub. Now on the second note, let's pitch bend down like this. The same is gonna happen with the other sound. So once in Ableton, the automation should look something like this. We are playing an F zero. So you can copy that if you want to follow along with the video. It's two notes. Now the post processing of the group is having a trash two on multiband, only two bands. The second band, the split is set around 500 hertz and the upper band is not being affected at all. It's just a sub with some tape saturation and the wave shaping changed like this. The drive is at one. Then we have an erosion with the sine setting to add a sine wave on 8.4 kilohertz. And then we have another one on 420, no pun intended. <laughs> It's just the one that sounds right. And then we have more noise. And then we have an OTT that wasn't used. So now going to the second patch, let's just turn off this post processing. And let's jump into the patch. Okay, so for this patch, once again, we have the two Fs. But we're gonna pitch bend on the second one. And we're going to load sine waves on each oscillator. We're going to boost each oscillator by three octaves and we're going to change the pitch. Then we're going to change the levels of the oscillators and the reason why is because we want to mix the harmonics differently. Just like that. Bring the sub down and then let's go into the effects tab and add down sample distortion to add the upper harmonics. Just like that. Let's bring the mix down. Then let's add a filter. Let's use the double peak setting. And then let's move the cutoff down. Let's boost the drive. This is just to add harmonics. And then we can change the second peak. Then let's add some chorus to make this sound a bit wider. Bring the mix down. And then let's add game with a compressor. Don't add too much because it can clip. There you go. And now let's turn on the post processing of the whole group. And now if we play this with the sub, this is what we get. Now we can mix the different layers. And if we hear this in context, that's what we get. So that is going to be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss it for future videos. And if you want to get access to the preset and project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.